Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants and today we're doing a Q&A. So today's Q&A is inspired by your guys' questions. I just noticed that some of you were leaving some really great questions in the comment section and instead of typing out all the answers, I thought I should do a, I guess a little bit more formal of a Q&A and share a little bit more about me, who I am, what's my story, all of those good things. So maybe this is long overdue or maybe some of you just don't care, but either way, here it is, the get to know you Q&A. All right, number one, let's start with, what brought you to Canada? How long have you lived there? Do you love it? And where did you used to live in the USA? So the reason I am in Canada now is due to my husband, Q. Oh. He is Chinese, but he was actually born in Vietnam and then moved to Canada when he was very, very young. I think he was like one year old. So he's pretty much from Canada and he's actually lived in Toronto pretty much his whole life until he moved to Hong Kong, which is where I met him. So I was actually living in Hong Kong. He was living there. We didn't know each other or anything. And we met, we got married, and then we decided to move to Canada. For him, it's back to Canada. For me, it's moving to Canada for the first time ever, experiencing living in snow for the first time ever. This is weird. <laughs> Welcome to Toronto. So we left Hong Kong in 2017. So it's been almost three years that we have left Hong Kong. And then do you love it? And where did you used to live in the USA? So do I love Canada? I mean, yes, I do. I do really love Toronto. It's a very exciting city. There's a lot going on. It's very multicultural and diverse and has a lot of really great vegan food. I love all those things about it. And I would say that the only drawback is the snow. I do really love the snow and being from California and never living in snow before, it was like very, very exciting to move here at first and experience a full winter. However, after about four months of winter, you kind of get over the snow and then and it's like, oh, snow again. <laughs> I do still get really excited at the first snowfall and like even the first full month of snow, it's still really exciting, but it's definitely not California. And where did I used to live in the USA? I actually grew up in a pretty small town, kind of near Santa Barbara, if you know where that is. And then I actually lived in Santa Barbara for a couple years doing school and then moved to Los Angeles for university and then moved to San Francisco for work after university. So I feel like I've lived in a good range of places in California and I do still really love it there. I mean, every time I go back to visit, of course, it's my home and I just really love it. So I'm not sure if we'll move back in the future. We've talked about it, but we haven't decided anything for sure. Okay. Number Number two, do you have another job or work? The answer to that is yes, I do. I actually work part-time as an English tutor, but I do really wanna make YouTube my full-time job because I just love vegan cooking so much and I love sharing the recipes with you guys. So if I could do vegan cooking all the time, oh, that would just be the dream. So it's definitely something I'm working towards, but for now I am still working part-time as an English tutor. Number three, how long have you been vegan? That is a great question. I went vegan at the end of 2017, so almost three years now, and I should do a full video on that story about how and why I went vegan. I like hearing other people's stories about how and why they went vegan. So I will make a full video for you guys about that. But the short version for today is that it was the end of 2017, basically about the same time that we left Asia and moved back to North America. And number four goes along with that, you and your husband's stories about why you became vegan. Again, I'm gonna save the full stories for another video, especially my husband's story. I feel like he should tell it himself. But the short version for me is that I actually originally went vegan for like health reasons. Even though I was never unhealthy, I just thought that it would be extra, extra healthy to go vegan. But what's crazy is now that it is completely about the animals for me. I mean, of course, health is still really important to me, but it is just so much more about the animals. What's so crazy is the longer that I'm vegan, the more passionately I feel about the animals and ethics side of being vegan. Like, Knowing what I know now, I definitely could never go back. And it's just, I mean, it's a really happy change for me. So of course, all three of the reasons for being vegan are very important to me, health, environment, and animals. But where I am in my life now, the animals are definitely the most important. Number five, how did you and Q meet and how long have you been married? Ooh, this is another really good question that I will have to save the full story for another video as well, because it's just, it's a really long story. But the short version is we met in Hong Kong totally by chance. We met at a restaurant and it was late at night and I will just leave it at that for now. Stay tuned for the full version of that. But yes, that's the short version. And we got married in 2015 
at the end of August. So we're coming up on our five year wedding anniversary. Wow, that sounds like a long time. It doesn't feel that long. So yes, we have been married for almost five years and we've actually been together for almost eight and a half years. Wow, yeah, long time. Okay, number six, what's your favorite vegan meal you've ever had at a restaurant? Okay, I honestly feel like there are so many good restaurants in Toronto and I actually haven't even been to like nearly half of them. So I wish that I had a better answer for this, but if you know me, I do really like sweets. So I'm actually gonna give you my top sweets places in Toronto and the top three things that I had. So there's this place in Toronto called the Vegan Danish Bakery and oh my gosh, their desserts are so good. You can't even tell they're vegan. They are all delicious. And they have this chocolate cake that is like, whew, really, really good chocolate cake. That I think might be my number one, or it might be tied with my second one, which is from Tori's Bake Shop. Both their cinnamon rolls and their cookies were, oh my gosh, so, so good. I do have videos about both of these, by the way. If you wanna watch my reviews, I'll link those up here. But yes, Vegan Danish Bakery and Tori's Bake Shop, ooh, so good for sweets. And I do also really like Bunners in Toronto. They have an amazing butter tart. Ah, oh, so decadent. So I would say Bunners butter tarts are probably my third favorite. And there's also this really, really good Vietnamese restaurant in Toronto called Saigon Lotus. My husband loves Vietnamese food. He would probably say his favorite is the Bumbo Way, which is like a spicy noodle soup. He really loves that dish. And Saigon Lotus makes a pretty good one. Number seven, how many languages do you each speak? <laughs> well, <laughs> for me, I only speak one. I mean, I speak other languages, but definitely not fluently. I actually studied in Florence doing a study abroad program. Ho studiato a Firenze per cinque mesi. I started learning Italian and I thought I wanted it to be my major university. So I did study Italian at university for like, I think it was like almost a year before I changed majors. So I should know a lot of Italian, but I have forgotten most of it. When I moved to Hong Kong, all of the Italian just pushed straight out of my brain because I started learning Cantonese and it was just too difficult for my brain to keep up with two different languages. So I definitely don't speak either of those languages fluently. I speak very, very little bits and pieces of both. Mozzisio which basically just means I know a little bit. My husband, on the other hand, I mean, obviously he's fluent in English and he would say that's his mother tongue, but he grew up speaking Cantonese. So that's what he was speaking mostly with his parents as he was growing up. But of course, living in Canada, all of his friends spoke English, all the schools were in English. So all of the Cantonese kind of got pushed out of his brain. And he would say he's really bad at it, but he can hold full conversations in Cantonese. So in my eyes, he's definitely fluent. And he can also speak a little bit of Vietnamese. I mean like <laughs> four words or something like that. He can count and he can tell people that he can understand what they're saying, but he can't speak. And that's pretty much it. Number eight, where do you want to travel next? Gosh, I haven't even thought about traveling in months. I mean, obviously the first place I'm gonna go when all of this is over is to California to see my family. But if we're talking leisure travel, I actually have been dying to go to South Africa. My friend was supposed to get married there in September of this year. And obviously that had to get postponed until next year. But yeah, South Africa has been on my list for a really long time. It's just such a beautiful place. So hopefully things will be cleared up by next year and we'll be able to go. And the last one, number nine, why YouTube? So I actually started this channel because I wanted to rate recipes. So as you guys may know, I am not that great of a cook, but I do really, really love cooking and I love trying new recipes and trying different cuisines. So when we first came back to North America, I had just gone vegan and I was trying a lot of new recipes and I just found that some of them looked like they were going to be really good, but didn't really live up to the expectation. But I guess the channel has kind of transformed since then. And right now I'm just in a place where I wanna just share as many vegan, whole food plant-based recipes as I can with you guys, mainly just to share them because I see that a lot of people are always looking for recipes. And I personally always like to see new recipe ideas or inspiration, but I do also like going to different restaurants and reviewing different food products or makeup, just because it's a video that I would wanna 
watch. I like to know people's opinions before I go out and buy something. So I guess really this channel is just to bring more awareness to vegan food and vegan products and vegan living in general. So it's been a really fun journey so far and I just want to thank you guys. Thank you for all your questions. Thank you for following along in this journey. Thank you for your support. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. I really enjoy doing this and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So if you guys ever have any other questions or just want to say hi, feel free to leave it in a comment down below. I love getting comments from you guys. I always read them and I always try and respond and it really does mean a lot to me. And with that, I guess I have a couple more videos to make about the full story of why I went vegan and the full story about how Q and I met. So watch for those coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And of course, let's eat plants and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.